Hey folks, Steve here again. Wanted to show you a, uh, an interesting uh, new combination that we're doing on some Craviato drums. This particular drum that you see here is one of Johnny's 10th anniversary Ambrosia Maple 5.5 by 14 snares. There were only 20 made in this size and only 20 made in the 6.5s. But what we did with this drum is we took and we changed out the hoops. And the hoops that are on this drum, instead of the triple flanged hoops that uh, we usually use on the Craviatos, these hoops are the wonderful, wonderful stainless steel hoops made by the folks at Angel Drums. And they use these on their kits. They make these in-house. They do a phenomenally good job on everything that they do hardware-wise. And these metal hoops are just incredible. Stainless steel hoops. They are a wonderful, wonderful sounding hoop. And they look great, too. So aesthetically, I think they look great on the drums. But they also sound terrific as well. So I wanted to give you a little sample of this Craviato drum uh, with these hoops so you can get a sense for what those rim shots sound like and the overall tone of the drum. So here we go. This is tuned up, you know, fairly high. Snares are on the dry side at the moment. I'll put them in the middle. So here we go. Cross stick. Nice and fat. The drum is really sensitive. Dry it up a little bit. Dry it up a little more, even. Loosen it up a little bit. They're great hoops, and the hoop, what I like about it is, no matter what you do with the drum, it doesn't kill the resonance. It's a nice, good, full, fat, open sound. And whether you tighten up the wires a little bit and dry it up or you back them off and loosen it up for a little sloppier feel, no matter what you do, the drums don't choke. Part of that's Johnny's shell, of course. But also, too, if you have something heavy like a die cast rim on here, it'll take a lot of overtones up, but it'll also dry it up maybe a little too much. This is something that's really nice in the middle. Response-wise and sound-wise is in the middle. Take some of the overtones out. There's more overtones with the light triple flange rim. This falls somewhere in the middle between triple flange and a heavy die cast. It's great on these drums, particularly good on a drum that's got a wide tuning range to begin with. That's superb to begin with. It makes it even better. So uh, we're going to be offering these as an option on Craviato drums, and they are uh, available uh, also separately as pairs if you want to put them on your drums as well. And you can see that stuff and talk to us here at maxwelldrums.com. Thanks.